Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another session of Marquette University Television Sit Down with a Marquette Athlete. Today, I'm joined by Callum Malice of the men's soccer team. And Callum, before we start, you have a slight accent. Why don't you tell the people where that comes from? Uh, the, uh, the accent is a Scottish accent from uh, Bathgate, Scotland, which is just outside of Edinburgh, where most people might know of. So. All right. Well, it's no secret that early in Louis Bennett's tenure here at Marquette, he wasn't really doing exceptionally well, but now this team has really turned things around. What do you really attribute that to? Uh, well, as me being one, one of the uh, part of the freshman class coming in, we have, uh, we have a great freshman class, all the guys. And, uh, you know, people, people realize that Marquette soccer is, is turning around big time. And uh, we're, all, we're all here to win. And we're all here aiming for the same goal, which is NCAA championship, as everyone wants. And uh, we, we really believe that we can achieve that. Well, we'd love if you did, because if you could bring a national championship to Marquette, oh, it'd yeah. be fantastic. Now, you mentioned, you know, a good group of freshmen. You were one of three freshmen who's played in every single game this year. You know, going from high school to college, that's got to be a, a major rush for you. How does that feel? Uh, it's great. Uh, it is, uh, it's a big step up from high school to college, definitely. No secret there. And, uh, you know, you, you expect to play or you want to play. Everyone wants to play. No one wants to come and sit. And uh, I knew that my uh, opportunity was here, and I'm, I'm going to take that opportunity. So. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you guys really did outplay the number five team in the nation in St. John's. Unfortunately, in the second overtime, you lost on a penalty shot. But you know, describe the thoughts of, of being there with a top national team, and then what will it take to, in the future, beat those teams? Uh, it, was, it was crazy. Uh, we've definitely shown this year that we can play with the top teams, as you just said. St. John's, real good team. Uh, we're all over them, and uh, you know, it was tough, but it, it showed a lot of character from us, and we, can, we realized that we can play with them, and sooner or later here we're going to be, we're gonna be beating them. And so. Let's talk about Matt Pizdrowski, He's the goaltender for Marquette mm -hmm. Soccer, and to be frank, one of the best goalies in the nation. How does it feel to have someone you know, in net as a complete stopper for your team? Does it give you extra confidence to go on the attack? Oh, yeah. It gives us tons of confidence. You know, you know he's back there. He's, uh, he's keeping everyone in check. And uh, when it comes down to it, when, when we need him the, bit, the most, he's always there. And uh, be, being a midfielder, you, uh, you expect to get talked to and communicated with to know what's going on. And Matt, Matt can also do that as well as stopping the ball from going in the net. So he, he lets us know what's going on. Well, on a little bit of a lighter side, last week we had Matt Stumner, Stummer on, and he said that he had a favorite Louis Bennett quote. Now, I've talked with Louis, and he's an exciting <laughs> guy. Uh, do you have a favorite quote offhand? From Coach B, uh, a couple of the guys, we, we joke around. Uh, he says, uh, when, when he wants us to really believe in him, he says, believe me. But the way he says it, he says, uh, he says believe you, me. <laughs> and like the way he says it, and like I don't even know if it's, that's a word what he's saying. Cause he says like "believe you, me" or something, but it's uh, it's funny. But he uses that one a lot, and uh, a lot of the guys joke around with it. But it's it's good stuff. That's a good one. Matt Matt said something, and we were all just kind of confused. But he said it was a direct quote from Louis, so we'll just take your word for it. Yeah, he, seemed, he is a fun guy. Yeah, though. very. Matt also said that the team photographer said that he looks like a young young Tom Cruise. Now is that just Matt? You know, trying to talk himself up, or ah, uh, you know, there's a there's a little resemblance, but uh, I don't know. It's all in, it's all in joking matter, and we have fun with it. And so, yeah, he's, he, Matt Matt does like to talk himself up <laughs> now and again, as we all know. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a good time. So. Now, finally, your next five games are all in the city of Milwaukee, with three of them being broadcast on Time Warner Sports Television. How excited are you to really get huge exposure within this city? And one of those games is against UWM with the Milwaukee Cup. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of exposure, and uh, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be exciting for the team. And uh, obviously, we're not going to be focusing on the, the TV's watching. We just want to win, but it, it'll show, it'll show the, uh, the positives from our team, and it'll really bring us out, and so it'll look good. So I'm excited. Well, I have to say, best of luck. It's been a pleasure having you on today. For Kyle and Malice, I'm Richie Donnelly. This has been another presentation of Marquette University Television. Sit down with a Marquette athlete.